and I had a bit of a flashback to high school. Morning, Bax. I hope that you guys are having a lovely day. We are kind of well, we're definitely running late, but we're on our way to church. Irene woke up every single hour last night, so I wasn't sure if we were going to go or not, but I've missed quite a few weeks, and she woke up just as Ken and Roslyn were getting in the car because they were going to go by themselves. Um, so the four of us are all going, but it was a little bit of a rush to leave the house. So, oh no, the battery light is flashing. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to vlog very much, Box. I think we forgot to charge you last night, so we'll see what happens. Good morning, Box. How are you today? Good. I'm glad to hear that. I hope you're doing well. If not, sorry to hear that. I hope this vlog cheers you up. I am going to a special location, a secret location known to any teacher on a budget. So, I uh, got evaluated some time ago, and the words that were used to describe my classroom were, and I quote, like a prison. So, in an effort to make my room a bit more festive, I am at the Dollar Tree. Um, in an effort to make it as cheap as possible and yet still effective um, because I am a teacher and I do have a very much a shoestring budget so we're gonna see what we can get for $20 <laughs> I think I was thinking that there'd be all sorts of things and be a nice little wonderland of merchandise that I could buy that would be festive and decorative for very really cheap However, as you saw, the shelves are mostly barren, and I could get wrapping paper, boxes, or tree ornaments. And I'm not really sure if that's going to cut it. I could get five feet of mini lights. There's that. Um, so we're going to go somewhere else and see if we can find something better. We're going to try and stick to that $20 budget, though. You know, they do have a lot of candy. They have a lot of candy. So I'm a bit of... I'm a little bit at a loss right now because I don't know what to do now. That was kind of like my big thing. I was like, I'm just going to go to Dollar Tree. I'm going to get everything there. It's going to be great. It's a dollar store. Maybe this one just wasn't like a good dollar store. Maybe there's like bigger dollar stores or something. But um, needless to say, I did spend a dollar to get this gingerbread tiny cookie house. Um... I was gonna say something, but honestly, this was totally an impulse buy. Uh, I got a fun story out of it. I guess the uh, cashier, he made a gingerbread house when he was in elementary, and then instead of eating it, he preserved it, and he still has it to this day, so that's interesting, right? <laughs> um, but I guess uh, I'll, I kind of wanted to see it by myself, but I'll, I'll go, I think I'll take it home and share it with, with, uh, with the family, you know, bring home my, my kill. <sighs> Look at my fancy little gingerbread house. Yeah, I'll let you guys. There's my little gingerbread house. It's got a little snowman on it, too. Hello. Welcome to my home. How are you? Please don't eat me. I can't promise anything, so man. I can't promise anything. I understand. Thank you for being so understanding. Walgreens? And I'm at Walgreens. I am noticing a trend. And that is a lot of candy and a lot of small things. But not anything that I'm really looking for or need. I'm trying a different place. Okay. So... Um, I've discovered a reasonably good deal on some tinsel here. So we're going to start with silver and gold, and we're going to build from there to work with my walls. At this point, I'm not really sure where I'm going to go. I'm thinking Walmart right now. But yeah, so, and I know what you're thinking, Ken. Why did you have a nerd throw? Well, because they're amazing. I'm just, I'm just going to stop you there. They're amazing, and when they're under a dollar, I just, I just buy some. Impulse buy, what can I say? I'm starting to notice a trend. This is why I need Heidi with me. Can I just say, first off, props to Heidi, because she is currently at home while I'm on my little adventure here, um, taking care of Rosalind and Irene. And frankly, um, my whole life is so much easier because I have Heidi to, like, take care of the kids, and I can trust that she's she's taking care of the kids, and I, I know that I can focus on um, planning, lesson planning, grading, and things like that. Because being a teacher is actually a lot of work, a lot more work than, like, being a lab tech ever was. I think we, I think we make a pretty good team, though. Anyways, let's go to Walmart and let's see what's there. And then after that, I guess maybe somewhere else. Well, let's let's not cross that bridge. Let's cross that bridge if we come to it. Let's... All right, I am at Walmart. The goal here being to find things that I could not find at either Walgreens or the Dollar Tree. This is a little bit more like it. Look at, we've got these bows. We got wrapping paper. We got ribbons. We got the decorative tree thing. Thing. 
I'm not really sure what that is. Okay, here's my haul so far. I've got Christmas lights, obligatory, I think. Some fake bells, because if I had real bells, they'd just ram in the class all the time. And two sets of garlands to hang across my walls. I'm missing one thing, and that big thing I need. A small tree. I was cruising along, and lo and behold, look what I drove by. A goodwill. <laughs> I like a wreath, and I have enough for one in my budget. The question is, is which wreath? I like all three of them, but I'm gonna go with this one. Yep, this one. I like the fact that this is welcome on it. And I am back at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Why? Because out of all the places I visited, not one had a deal quite like this. All of them had way different deals, and I really like this set, so we're gonna go and get these. I'm thinking the gold and silver. I like this. Or, no, you know what? Let's have I think gold, silver, and. You know what? I have enough. Let's just use these two. There we go. That works. So I'm at Fry's getting a couple things because, of course, if I am out and about without the kids, I am going to get grocery lists to bring home. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go steal one from the parking lot. <laughs> that hasn't happened before. <laughs> Let's go. So it, was a, it is a continual debate between myself and Heidi of whether or not we're going to get skim milk or we're going to get 2% milk. Um, I don't know what team you're on, but I am team um, not flavored water. So that's the team I'm on. Uh, but every time one of us goes grocery shopping because we need milk, which happens quite frequently with Rosalind, we tend to swap pack back and forth. And so like last time, last week, there was a uh, skim milk in the fridge. And I was like, eh, this week, it's gonna be real milk in the fridge, not flavored water. But what team are you guys on? Let us know in the comments down below. I've done my part now. When walking around inside though, I uh, I walked past a big uh, kind of wall of flowers um, for like, you know, roses and stuff. And I had a bit of a flashback to high school. So um, back in high school, I was a bit of a hopeless romantic. Um, and it was very common for me to get flowers. And I thought to myself that uh, Heidi would appreciate a set of roses, and so I got her some. And I got her um, some peanut butter chocolate, uh, like chocolate peanut butter cups, because I know she loves those uh, as well. Um, just as a small gift, um, kind of token of my appreciation for her, because she's so awesome. Um, I know that recently, in the past couple years, our love languages have shifted a little bit. Um, Heidi has, uh, in the past, been gifts oriented, um, whereas uh, nowadays she is a little bit more service oriented. If you're not familiar, uh, what I'm referring to is the five love languages. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I really recommend you go look into it. Um, but basically, there are five ways that people generally express their love um, touch, acts of service, time spent, um, gifts and um, words of encouragement um, and so everybody's kind of good with all five of them but most people have one or two that they really prefer and if you do that thing that's how they feel loved and so for Heidi um, in the past it was kind of um, gifts a little bit but it's it's changed some and I'm adapting now here's the key to a good gift is if you just bring it in like this it's not it's not as good so what we're gonna do is leave this here and then come back for it after Heidi's gone to sleep and prep it. We're going to take these. We're going to tear some of these off. We're going to cut the thorns away. And I cut, I think, an inch off. And we're going to stick into a nice face. Fun fact, the plastic that the flowers come in can be used as a funnel. Add the flower food and you shake it up a little bit. And we're ready to add. I've got my lovely vase of flowers right here. All set, ready to go. So she'll walk by and be like, oh, wow. Huzzah! Plus, finishing touch. 
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. If you're new here, subscribe. And and with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. If you're new here, subscribe. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys.